In this video, we will be demonstrating the additional experiments for Techquipment's universal testing machine, the cupping experiment, the SM1000 and H, for understanding the limits of cold form sheet metals, the double shear experiment, the SM1000 and J, for determining shear strength of small round rods, and the disc spring experiment, the SM1000 and K, for understanding the impact of different disc spring stacking arrangements. Let's look at the cupping experiment. The experiment is useful as it allows students to understand the qualities of different cold form sheet materials and how they would behave in moulding manufacturing processes, allowing students to understand which metals are best suited to a particular application to guarantee quality and repeatability in the production process. This works by pressing a smooth, hard sphere into a sheet material until it ruptures. At that point, the specimen is removed and measured. In order to do this, the material, either copper, brass, mild steel or aluminium, is clamped between a clamping plate and die. For visibility of the form sheet material, a mirror is located so that the user can watch for a rupture to form. Now to focus on the double shear experiment. Fasteners, i.e. nuts and bolts, are the most common situation in which double shear occurs, when these break under the strain of force. Understanding shear, i.e. the breaking point, is a crucial in design for all engineering disciplines. The double shear experiment that we show here allows you to determine the shear strength of a small round rod. Double shear can give more accurate results over a single shear test, as the specimen being tested will not bend before it shears. This is based upon the DIN 5014 standard, which is valid for materials with a maximum tensile strength of 1300 megapascals. Finally, we're going to look at the disc spring experiment. Disc springs are common in many industries where high forces are required, but only a small deflection can be accommodated. In some applications, they're used as spring washers to exert a uniform pressure and where thermal changes and or wear can lead to tension losses. For example, fasteners on a combustion engine need to stay tight and are exposed to considerable heat and vibration. Disc springs are also used as suspension systems. They can easily be tuned to the application by varying the discs and or stacking arrangements without the need to redesign and manufacture new parts. The smaller packing size often means lower mass, which can be advantageous for motorsport and aerospace applications, for example. The disc spring test allows you to investigate the force required to achieve a maximum deflection in different stacking arrangements and the spring rate of disc springs in different stacking arrangements. For more information about these experiments for use with Techquipment's universal testing machine, click on the links in the description box below. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell on the Techquipment YouTube channel to guarantee you never miss any of our new video releases. Thank you for watching.